In the four years that the Zayed Center for Research has been open, we've achieved a huge amount. Despite the pandemic, we've seen 15,000 patients a year in Falcon outpatients. We've used our cell and gene therapy facility to manufacture the alpha and delta variants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus for the vaccine task force. A thing we talk about a lot is bench to bedside treatment. What that means is a researcher can develop something at the lab bench and we can develop that at scale and give it to a patient at the bedside. My research is really focused on developing gene therapies that can correct inherited gene disorders. We have a new GMP facility here in the Zoid Centre for Research, which gives us seven clean rooms in which to make these gene therapy products for patients who need them. And that means that we can treat more patients, we can open more trials to develop more effective treatments for patients with rare diseases. Essentially, we're able to develop these new treatments here and then manufacture them upstairs and deliver them to the patients in the hospital next door. So, yeah, having everything in that same space really speeds up how quickly we can develop these new treatments and how quickly we can get those treatments to patients. And because we're really one of the only centres in the world offering this kind of treatment, patients come from all over the world uh, to be treated here. Arlo was two days old uh, when we first noticed something quite serious. We were at home, discharged from hospital, went very sort of like floppy and blue. We had called the ambulance, we got to A&E, and since then we just had continuous problems with Arlo. Severe Combined Immune Deficiency, or SCID, uh, is a range of genetic conditions where children are born essentially without a working immune system. And that means that they're really susceptible to severe and often life-threatening infections. When Arlo had his diagnosis, the treatment op options that we were given uh, was a bone marrow transplant or gene therapy. In Arlo's case, he essentially would have been one of five going through this new trial, and we weren't sure if it, you know, he would respond well to that. It was just, again, the unknown. And so for us, gene therapy, despite, again, us not knowing if it would be successful or not, seemed like the better option. Claire and her team supported us through the process really well. They were just an incredible team that really have made a difference to our lives. And, you know, looking back at it, they were, they will always just be people that we're really thankful for. Arlo was actually the first patient in the UK treated on this particular trial for, of gene therapy for X-linked skid. Arlo's treatment was a success. Um, what it means for him is that he no longer has to take uh, many medicines. He doesn't have to have monthly injections that he had to have. He can come out of isolation, he can go to school, he can play with animals, just do lots of childhood things that, that he wasn't able to do before. Arlo now, because of research, is a happy, healthy toddler and is, you know, just always what we've wanted for our child. As we look to the future, I'm really excited to work with our research teams to understand how many more conditions can we treat and therefore treat more children with rare and complex diseases. So I am really positive about the future here at the Zayed Centre for Research. We've learned so much from the trials that we've done in the past and we're developing even more effective and safer ways of delivering gene therapy to patients with a wider range of disorders. And with ongoing support, we will be able to you know, give more children with rare diseases hope of a cure.